Oh, I'm like really early on in my career. Everything's such a snowball because I just say yes. I'll just, yeah, all right, I'll do it. That's a good thing. It is a good thing. Um, You'll be able to say yes all the time. Yeah, sometimes you're going to say no. I'm learning that. Um, but <laughs> yes is good. Um, I don't know if you know a lady called Jan Cooper. Um, she's our wellness coach at um, West Coast at the moment. But wasn't obviously in 2017 because it didn't exist. Um, no, I'm so she's like a pioneer for female football. Um, she pretty much herself and a few other people managed to get AFLW off the ground after okay. 10, 15 years, I'm saying, um, of just dedication, hard work in uh, the AFL – oh, in the commission, sorry. So um, I'd been working f- with my mum. She works in aged care. Yep. Um, and I'd been working in aged care for about six months and obviously I don't want to do that, bless their souls, but – it was just to get some cash. Um, I was still living at home, so I wasn't paying rent or anything, but it was just to have a bit of play money and fuel money and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I've had enough. Um, contacted Jan Cooper. Jan, if you got a job, like just anything in football, I'll do anything. Yeah. Like I need change. Um, she's like, oh, I don't really have anything for you at the moment, but just maybe stay tuned. Yeah. All yeah. right. Thanks. Six weeks went by, went by and contacted me again. Hey, give her like she called me. Um, there's a job opportunity working in football. It's in Adelaide. Oh, wow. And I was like, oh. And she goes, do you want to play footy though? Like <laughs> there's a new competition that's coming out. It's AFLW. You get to play for the Crows and you get to, you know, get paid playing and you can have a full-time job. Sign me up. Yeah. yeah. I'm down. Absolutely. Didn't really process what was being said. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> And I remember so six weeks. I had six weeks to pretty much pack up my stuff and leave. Yeah. Um, and in that process, um, someone that I was speaking to, uh, to who was helping me organise everything to to move over, go to like sort out my work. I had to get an interview. So I hadn't even got the job, so I had to go for an interview. But it was pretty much like set in stone. Mm-hmm. Um, did all of that and then I had this interview and I was in Adelaide and I was probably two or three hours out from flying back to Perth. And I sat there and I was like, Maybe I can just do FIFO. Like, maybe I can fly in, fly out to Adelaide. Still not registering what's going on. Like, mm. that I have to live here and live here to play footy and survive on my own. Like, with no one, no family, no friends, no anyone. Like, Charles hadn't even been brought up yet. Oh, wow. So, oh, wow. So, that was that early on? Really early on. Like, Holy I shit. moved over six months before AFLW even had a draft. Oh. So, I didn't go through the draft or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So... That's how that marquee player works, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you kind of get selected. And at the time, like, I just, I remember hearing information and being there and t- like not being present, but just kind of nodding my head. Yeah, 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 no worries. Um, and yeah, it just random. And so I that's how that. Got on a plane, packed my bags, two suitcases later, and my mum came over for a week, had two days to settle in um, and went straight to work the Monday. And then that was oh, wow. my life. And then six months later, they... Uh, four months later. Four months later, yeah. Um, so I think I got a call maybe two months. Um, I don't even know. Probably a month or two. Uh, Chels um, said, hey, mate, like, I'm thinking about coming to Adelaide with you. Oh, sick. It's pretty much like going, how is it? Like, yeah. trying to convince her pretty much. And I said, oh, come, like, <laughs> I need you. <laughs> yes. So that, so obviously you've, you've, it was a struggle. Being here over here, over, over, sorry, over in Adelaide by yourself. Yeah, I was by myself for four months. I had no one for four months. Um, and it was the hard, one of the hardest things I've ever gone through emotionally. Um, like, yeah, because you have to Just make no plans. one. Like, I was 20. I'd just turned 20. I left my family. Mm. I, at the time, I had left my partner. Um, and that was like on the rock. So, you know, I was going through all these emotions and all those kinds of things and not knowing what this competition is going to be about. Like, how's it? Mm. Didn't even yeah, have a was, coach for yeah, Adelaide. It was so blind. Yeah, so like I was selected as a player to play for this footy club. We didn't have a coach. Like I'd already been there for at least a month and a bit before mm. the coach got selected. Um, Were you doing any training, like footy training or anything like that? I think I was playing for a local team. Okay. I can't remember what they um They were red and yellow. Morfittville, I think it okay. was called. Yeah, I was playing for them for a little bit. But, um, but that was it, like it was. That was it. It. We weren't really do anything no not really that. yeah so it was all That's just like all right i'll go do this now i'm a marquee player now we've got a coach chelsea come over and bang it was like full go yeah did yeah. you feel like there was a lot of pressure and weight 
being that mar- marquee player or you didn't really process that? Up? I think, um, yeah, there's a lot of hype. Um, mm. It helped having Chelsea around because thinking about it now, Chelsea's oh, – so I'm turning 25. Chelsea's 25 when this all happened. Um, okay. So she was quite – she had a mature head on her. Yeah. Um, and I to this day, like, I don't know – what type of person I would have been or anyone, anything like that. So with Chels, having her there and just kind of helping me through it and guiding me through it with all the pressure really early on. Um, yeah, she was like a big sister. So it was, it was great to have her and we're doing a lot of media and it was all really new. Like I had to have media training because I had no idea. So it yeah, was right. very hectic very on, early on and then obviously it just built because our end result. And I remember like... Um, when we won our premiership, it was very um, – for the first two weeks, you just live on a high and you just feel so untouchable. Like, it's yeah. it's a, 